know, one of the benefits of the societies as an early career member is there's a lot of people to look up to, a lot of good scientists, a lot of good mentors. The best part about it was the doors that it opened and the opportunities that I never would have been exposed to. And those networks and relationships I built during that time served me all through my career. In a, in, as I developed my career, I relied on people I met, on things that I learned in that process, and just continually built on that. So it was a wonderful experience and put me where I am today. A great opportunity I had through the Tri Societies was writing a series of articles for CSA News, one of their magazines. And one of the beauties of that was that I got to learn a lot from them. They, in a way, served as mentors for me. I got to learn what made them successful, both professionally, personally, and hopefully that then can be passed on to other early career members and students. Moving on uh, away from a student into a professional, I'm looking forward to getting involved in the leadership within my ASA community. Um, I feel they, they've done so much for me building my network as a student that I'm interested in giving back to the community. I've grown up in the Tri Societies, or I feel like I have, and the Tri Societies are a big, happy family. It's a little bit intimidating because your family is full of geniuses and everyone is eminent in their field, but everyone is rooting for you at the end of the day and they want to see you succeed as a fellow Tri Society member, as someone that they go out of their way to mentor, um, and I think that's an opportunity that we have in our discipline that's, that's unusual in academia. It's still a platform by which I can publish whether it be in a journal article or in the magazine CSA News, gives me the opportunity to still um, you know, try to get my science out there, be part of the policy discussion and things like that.